Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's online video weather blog. We are live right now on Google+, YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope. Not easy, but we pulled it off, and as of right now, we're seeing, again, some very quiet conditions. The forecast information right here, current conditions in the Mid-South, mid-30s. Today's highs in the lower 60s looking a lot better today, but more clouds into later on tonight with temperatures back into the mid-upper 40s. Check out our complete forecast available on the website above my head at wreg.com slash weather and also looking again for the possibility of some stronger weather heading our way. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Temperatures over the next several hours will be again doing quite nicely, at least according to what we saw yesterday. Again, temperatures rather on the chilly side yesterday, warming up quite nicely, all thanks to those southeasterly winds that you see in the red bar on your screen. Zero percent chance of anything involving rainfall for the the next couple of hours and through the rest of the day today no major problems being seen in much of the mid-south plenty of sunshine but clouds will be on the increase as we go into later on this afternoon and especially on into this evening as we see again the potential for a little bit more in the way of cloud cover coming our direction uh, as we get into around the early afternoon hours uh, into around this afternoon this evening especially sunrise this morning at 633 sunrise tomorrow will be at 632 but probably not going to be able to see sunrise tomorrow thanks to all the clouds out there. Sunset tonight, if you're going to be trying to take any pictures like yours truly, sunset tonight will be at about 553 and that gives us about 11 hours and 20 minutes worth of sunshine today. No rainfall yesterday. For the month of February, we are behind pretty severely by about two and three quarters inches, and we are behind for the year by about two and a half inches, so we could really use some more rainfall at this point in time. Very dry across much of the area. Heading into today, temperatures will be a little bit closer to normal. Yesterday, below normal on temperatures. 34 the low. 39 is where we should be for a normal low temperature, and 50 degrees are high yesterday yesterday normal for this time of the year 58 record high for today 80 set back in 1917 and a record low that hasn't been broken since 1894 of 16 degrees and that's again way below normal for this time of the year. Chances of anything involving rainfall are pretty much going to be gone throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South, but we may see again the potential for some more areas of winds coming in from out of the southeast for later on today chances of anything involving rain. Again, just not being seen at this time. Winds coming in from up and out of the southeast, and we're going to continue that direction throughout the rest of the day today. Now, through this afternoon, mostly just clouds moving our direction, but as we get into later on tonight, more chances of rain start to make their way in from the west, but here's the problem. As this stuff makes its way a little bit closer to us, we are going to be seeing the possibility of, again, the dry air just kind of overwhelming this stuff. As the rain moves in, the dry air just erodes the rainfall and there's not going to be much rain early. But as we get into tomorrow morning, about the time News Channel 3 has Todd Demers on the air with Daybreak, we may see the possibility of even more showers and maybe some thunderstorms in there as well. So please keep that in mind. Could be a sloppy commute tomorrow morning, so you definitely want to make certain to plan for a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going, just to be on the safe side. Threat of severe weather today not being seen for the Mid-South as you look down into around the lower section, the lower left section of your screen, just right here above my head. There is the marginal threat of some severe weather. For the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the day tomorrow, a generic threat of thunderstorms will exist not expecting severe weather into Monday. But here's the big thing. This forecast just updated a few hours ago from the Storm Prediction Center. This is showing the possibility of, again, a uh, enhanced risk of severe weather from southwest Illinois all the way back down to around eastern Oklahoma. That does include a small sliver of the Mid-South in northeast Oklahoma and extreme northwestern areas of Tennessee. Most importantly, into portions of the Mid-South, we also have, again, that yellow slight risk category showing up, and that is, again, going to be important because from Dyersburg to Memphis down to around Lee and Phillips County in Arkansas and the Delta area in Mississippi, there is still going to be a slight risk of severe weather. So we have to pay attention to this to make certain we're updated and ready to go on what's going to be going on. We'll keep you updated. Main threats at this time will be large hail and damaging winds and maybe the possibility of some isolated tornadoes. Starting off sunny today and then dropping the visibility with more clouds throughout the day, but rainfall not expected to be a problem. Showers and thunderstorms scattered across the area into all day tomorrow, off and on. The best possibility of severe weather will be coming up 
Tuesday afternoon and evening, mostly from around lunchtime into around dinner time, and quite possibly into very early on Wednesday morning. That's where we may see again the potential for some stronger weather coming our direction. Now this forecast will change one way or another over the next several days, so you've got to stay tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on the potential for this. Notice the temperatures over the next several days. 60s today and tomorrow, 70s Wednesday and Tuesday, back to normal, 50s by Thursday and Friday, heading up again next weekend first weekend of March in the lower 70s and mid to upper 60s to low, mid to upper 50s by the time we get toward Tuesday next. So we've got temperatures that are going to be all over the place once again. So looking at some very warm conditions interspersed with some cool conditions out across portions of the Mid-South. So once again, if you have any plans for outdoors, this is a forecast and a time frame you have to pay attention to. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on that. Friends or loved ones serving in the United States military in a rock temperatures right before sunset in the mid to upper 60s to the mid 70s with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies out there heading toward the Persian Gulf temperatures also in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s winds not quite as breezy as they were although in Bahrain down toward the Strait of Hormuz we've got sunny skies and northwest winds at about 16 miles per hour Afghanistan picked up a really healthy amount of snow a couple of weeks ago didn't don't often see that at this time of the year 40s around Faizabad clear skies guys there. Partly cloudy around Kabul at the airport. Kandahar 64 and partly to mostly cloudy skies and a little bit of sun left around Herat with temperatures back in the mid 60s. The Korean Peninsula lower 30s around Chuncheon close to the DMZ. Back to around Seoul and Kunsan. Clear skies lower 30s and Taegu and Pusan back into the lower 40s with more clouds out there. And toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba Again, another beautiful tropical day. Temperature around 70 degrees. North winds at 5, but no rainfall being seen out there. Want to know more about severe weather? These are the next places to be. There will be plenty more meetings coming up, about two dozen of them, in the next couple of weeks into around late March. If you'd like to know more about this, check out wreg.com slash weather. All the information is down below the forecast, so click on this page, scroll down, and you'll find out more about where these meetings are, how you can attend, the location, contact, contact details, all that stuff. They last about an hour or so. It's your opportunity to get informed about what to do when severe weather hits. If you'd like to know more, they're totally free, paid for by our tax dollars. So they're one of the best ways that our tax dollars have ever been spent when it comes to public safety. And more meetings coming up over the next several weeks. So we will keep you updated on that. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information. Keep it tuned to my social media pages as well. If you have any pictures to send along of weather, we'd love to show them, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So please feel free to send those along and stay tuned for more of my forecast coming up bright and early Monday through Friday with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live and C. Austin and Josh on the Memphis AM radio show that's on AM 730 Monday through Friday and stay tuned for more there. Also, don't forget whatever device you've got Go to your app store, search WREG Weather, and find out more about our weather app so you can stay in contact with what's going on across the Mid-South. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, complaints, if you absolutely must, uh, do, definitely want to send it along to me at austin.onic at WREG.com. I would recommend uh, Facebook Messenger, but it's been kind of wibbly wobbly somewhat undependable so something to think about if you want to send anything there we'd like to know what you think this is your weather blog so if there's something out there we can pass along to you please let us know we would love to know more about what we can do to get you to come back and watch this so please let us know what your preferences are and we'd be glad to help you out on that i'll have more coming up on a wrap-up of news channel 3 daybreak here in just about the next few minutes and of course we'll have more throughout the rest of the day on news channel 3 online and on air we'll be on at five o'clock and 10 10 o'clock later on tonight. And don't forget about Todd Demers. He'll have more on your complete forecast coming up bright and early on Monday morning. And Corey Ventura will have more on traffic on Daybreak Monday as well. That's a look at your latest News Channel 3 updated forecast on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the day on air or online.